Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I've just taken delivery of this thing. It's a grid tie inverter for solar panels. And I'm just going to have a bit of a play with it on the bench. Mostly because I don't even know what the part number is for it. Oh, no I do. It's on the other side. Let's have a look at that. So looking over on the side, this one is a 3.6 kilowatt grid tie inverter. So PVI 3.6 TL OUTD. A voltage range of 90 to 580 volts which is quite good I think because it means that it'll either work with some fewer solar panels less of the time or more solar panels a lot more of the time and I got it with a load of solar panels uh, about four kilowatts worth so what I'm gonna do is switch it on with nothing attached to it and just see see what happens and there's some other numbers they're pretty much the same thing. And some people might see this video and be able to say, oh, Owen, that's a terrible thing to do. Or they might say, yeah, that's 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 all right. Yeah, that's all right, you're doing something right. Let's see, let's get the haze off. Let's get the haze off this thing. And what I've done is I've got the safety block, which is a way of just quickly attaching the power. I'm just plugging it in as it was found so to speak, and let the box open, which is always safe, and let's turn it on and see if it fires up or if smoke comes out. Power on. Now, anybody? Anybody? Am I getting a power light on yet? I can't see in this light. There's nothing coming on there yet. So I'm expecting with the AC side on, we should be getting something out of it. So let's just see what we're getting down here. So we've got a voltage there. So there could be a fuse on it somewhere or something, or it might just, it should it should fire up, I would have reckoned. There could be some kind of a switch on it that I'm too thick to see. But I think it was just unclipped and removed. I don't think anything else was, was done to it. No switches on the top and the bottom. It's got two DC inputs. It has another gland for AC down the bottom. So a DC1 input, DC2 input, and an AC gland, but it's it's almost blanked off, but there's nothing there, and there's no signs of there having been anything else there either. It's got a bar of things for output there. So what I'll do is I'll leave it for a few minutes and see if it wakes up. I think that's all I can do, is it? I'll just try pressing these buttons. So, it didn't work when I just plugged it into the mains. So now I've got three partially shaded solar panels wired together, and then wired into this connection block, and then wired out up to here. And let's see what we can see. You might be able to see all of it if we're here. So then, I've got an isolator on DC. It's off at the moment. If I turn it on, and check what's coming out of each plug. The positive plug, positive feed here, oh, and the negative, we're getting 106, 107 volts almost DC. That's coming through this isolator, so I'll turn that off again. And red is on the po positives coming through red. Now that's confused me somewhat because of how that they kind of go negative to positive, negative to positive to make the chain. So this is positive in, but it's got a negative connector, but this is positive in, so I think I'm right. I'll find out very shortly. Plug this one into negative. And then put on my DC supply. No smoke yet. Put on my AC supply. And we're getting something coming up and we're getting a green flashing light, which is an initializing light. And it says initializing. So let's get in closer here. Waiting sun. So it mustn't have enough. It's a very overcast day outside. 
Now what it can be is it won't let me will it? So that's pretty cool. So the machine's coming on and it's not giving me an error yet, which is what I want. I don't want an error, obviously. Uh, it's run for 25,000 hours and it's generated 18,000 kilowatt hours. Oh, it's down. Um, with a theoretical value of 9,000 euros. That's kind of nonsense. 10 kilos of CO2. I'm not going to get any more out of this. Ultimately, what I want to do is get into the bit where it would show me escape settings there we go settings one two three four address display service new PW cache time nation language V start that's the one I want V start on one it's set to 199 V so I need to bring that down to under 100. I'll bring it down to the minimum I can. This is really interesting on video. Give myself two hands there. Can you see that screen anymore? I don't know if you can. There we go. We need to get it down to, I think I had 108, was it? So I need to bring it down. I think it'll do V start at 90 on this machine, but we'll find out. Oh, it's only going 120. So I need another, another panel connected. Um, set that as enter. Uh, press escape. Escape, escape. Still waiting this on. So I'm going to turn off the DC supply. And it goes dead. Out you go, bud. And I'll put another panel on it uh, to get it up over maybe, what would that give me? About 140. You should start it up. So I put up five panels and we're getting 160 volts or thereabouts out of them. 170 maybe. It's not exactly. You can see it's very cloudy and there's some rain coming down today, so six panels at 285 watts, but that's not going to happen today. Let's get you back in here. It's all done before, I'm hoping I still have it correct. So let's get that on. Let's, uh, we're on the mains coming in already. I've checked my polarities, so I hope I'm right. Clunk. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, nothing. Ah, okay. Have it plugged in my negative. Now, <laughs> right. Two, three, four, there it is. So it takes a few seconds. We're getting the green power light coming on. We should say initializing in a second. Yes, there's a fan running. Please wait, I can hear a fan. Next connection, so I just have it V grid. Okay, it's picking it up. So the grid's right, 239. Frequency's bang on 50 hertz. Measuring resistance, 20 mega ohms. So it's gonna do something 31 seconds. Checking the grid again. And my knowledge on this thing goes as far as reading the manual from it, which I did since I just plugged it in and didn't put the panels on it. And 15 seconds. I'm getting excited now. I don't know what that means. Reading the manual and looking at a few YouTube videos from Andy Reynolds, who's been incredibly helpful with encouraging me to get a solar panel. There's a relay coming on and off there. One second, it's clunking relays. Type, a part number. It's got a green power light, which is a good sign, but it's locked on this page. So let's turn that. Oh, it's scanning something now. I don't know what I hit there. Let's see what that does. DP 26 watts, V1 151 volts, V2 36 volts. There shouldn't be anything on V2. Um, it's cycling through, so if I... There's somebody shouting outside to see what's going on. Okay, E day, I want to see E now. 
No, I don't want to see that. Statistics out. So let's see if I go down. That just locks the panel. Okay, maybe I can go down this way. Serial number, E day, E total, P out. And that's it. I've got a power plant in my back garden at 39, 40 watts on a really awful day. And it's a tiny amount of electricity on five panels. And I'm really pleased with that. That's excellent. It's a good test that the machine is working, that the inverter is working, and that the panels are working. And it's amazing that, okay, like they're 10 watts per panel, which is tiny, and given that they're almost two meters squared, almost a meter and a half squared a panel, that uh, it's a tiny amount of electricity on a day like today. But the sun isn't out, and I, I, preferred to, I preferred to test it on a day with the sun in, just for my own kind of caution, because I'm running the DC cables. I think it's meant to have four or six mil, and I've just put two mil cables into it for now, which are more than adequate for this kind of power. And then on the outlet, the safety block, I've just got it running on a, probably a one, one mil or one and a half mil cable. And back to the fuse board. So it's not even properly wired in with an with a electric isolator, uh, AC isolator, or a meter yet. But I don't, I don't need a meter because this machine will record it. But that's pretty cool. And I'm, I'm kind of pleased with that. They told me they took it off the roof because... They had pigeons and they just got fed up with it and given that that's the kilowatt hours it's made if they're not on a feed-in tariff or uh, well, i don't know what what system they got it on but in 2015 the feed-in tariff would have been pretty low they might have just gotten fed up with it and thought it wasn't worth it and then let's go back let's go back to the output just hovering away there so they must have just got fed up it's going up now because there's a tiny bit of sun coming out which is kind of neat almost enough to power a light bulb <laughs> or a few led light bulbs um, they got rid of it because of pigeons and I bought the whole system of 14 panels and this unit, uh, an AC and two DC isolators and a meter. I got all that for 600 quid and I had to collect it. Some cables but very limited, no racks which is a bit of a pain but that is what it is. Uh, so there, uh, Andy thanks for your help, I'm happy with this given that the light is green and there's no error codes so that's excellent. Questions or comments? Words of encouragement or any advice, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.